Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Today I'm going to be kicking it back super duper old school for y'all. And what I mean by old school, especially old school YouTube, is a what's in my purse video. It has been a hot minute since I've seen any like what's in my purse videos. And I used to love those videos. They were always kind of cool to see like the weird little things that people would put in their purses. I don't know. Is it just me? I used to love that kind of stuff. So I kind of wanted to film a video that was like not really about anything important. Just kind of sit back, relax and not worry about any of the weird shit that's going on in the world today because your girl is going to lose it. <laughs> so anyway, first thing I want to talk about is my purse. So I have a Steve Madden purse and this is a backpack purse because your girl cannot be bothered by a regular like handbag purse. This is like a 10, 15 pound purse. I put so much crap in here and carrying stuff on my arm y'all. It's just like, it gives me a, such a like a shoulder headache. It gives me like a tension headache and I just cannot be bothered. So this is a Steve Madden black. I think it's like a vegan leather uh, backpack purse. So it's got the backpack thingies on the backhand side and then it's got like the moto like um embossing on the front which is kind of the reason why i bought it because i just like that little detail and then whenever you open it up you have to push a little button here and this is what it looks like on the inside so my mother-in-law calls this purse the mary poppins purse because i always am like pulling stuff out of here if you need something 99% of the, the time, the chances are I have it. So the first thing that I want to share with y'all is my wallet. And this is what it looks like. So it's a nice brown wallet. My mother-in-law actually got this for me, I want to say like 15 years ago. Um, and this is a Brahmin wallet. So I, it was kind of expensive. And she also bought my husband a matching wallet to go with it. But this wallet has been through the crap. Let me tell you, it has been stolen twice. It was stolen out of my purse in a PetSmart a long, long time ago. My daughter had actually um, won like some bearded dragon or something at a carnival, like a fair. And so I couldn't bear to tell her she couldn't have it. So we made a trip to, to PetSmart and I was getting all the stuff like the lights and, and the cages and all the, the aquariums and stuff like that that needed. And I stepped away from my purse for a second, a second, and my wallet was gone. So needless to say, that was not a very fun trip. And I ended up having to call my mom to buy everything because my daughter was boohoo crying, thinking that she couldn't keep her bearded dragon. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a Brahmin brand. And whenever you open it up, this is what the inside looks like. So it is tore up, swole up with nothing but trash. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. I just keep my receipts in here just in case I need anything. I have like Ulta cards. I have Costco cards. I have credit cards and that type of thing. Of course, I might have an Amazon card. Y'all know. And then I also have an old um, Louisiana driver's license. I'm very proud of this picture. This is one of the only pictures that I've ever taken at the DMV that was actually like somewhat decent. But this is a Louisiana driver's license that is now since expired so that's what lo that looks like but i keep it for sentimental purposes because the picture is really good the picture that i have now in my wallet in my current driver's license is horrific it's uh, absolutely terrible and i'm embarrassed to hand it to anybody so anyway that's what my wallet looks like so the next thing i have in here is some flushable butt wipes and look i'm just going to be real with y'all I, I don't know if I have like irritable bowel syndrome or nervous stomach or whatever, but it seems like if I'm at a public place and I think about having to go to the bathroom, chances are I'm going to have to go to the bathroom, number two. And I do not want to use Walmart's like Velcro, Brillo pad, thin ass toilet paper. <laughs> I want to use something soft and effective. And so I got these and this is from the up and up brand, which I think is a target brand. And this is their flushable toddler wipes. This is actually their toddler wipes. I didn't even realize there was toddler wipes, um, but it is fragrance free. 
and I'm really particular when it comes to what um, flushable wipes that I use because some of them like the Charmin brand or whatever they give me such an itchy butt <laughs> I'm so sorry it gives me an itchy butt and I, I just can't handle it I don't know if it's the fragrance or what they put in here or whatever but these are really really nice and gentle and then I have an open pack as well this one um, has like just a couple in here and then I also have a third pack um, this is the Equate brand, and this one is also effective and gentle as well. And this is their Flushable Wipes um, Fresh Scent Hypoallergenic. And I keep it in a Ziploc bag because, I don't know if y'all know this, quick tip, if you are going to keep um, butt wipes in your purse, put them in a Ziploc bag, particularly the Equate brand, because I find that these dry out a lot faster than the Up and Up brand. So, just FYI. If you ever need some little moist towelettes, keep them in a Ziploc bag and you're going to be good to go. The next thing I have is, this is an essential. I'm <laughs> just telling you. This is from the brand Smells Be Gone. And this is their essential oil bathroom spray in the scent Orange Blossom. And I picked this up from TJ Maxx, oh, probably a year ago or so. This stuff is amazing i cannot stand the way poopery smells uh you know the poopery brand even though they come in a lot of different scents i bought um several different scents from uh bath and body works not bath and body works um bed bath and beyond and i don't know what it is it's like the undertone smell just really gets on my nerves and whenever you use that in the bathroom like everybody knows that you take it a number two so whenever I spray this one, it smells really, really good and fruity. It doesn't have that weird like cinnamon smell. And I just love it. This was $3.99. And I, it, the next time I go to TJ Maxx and I need some of this, best believe I'm be picking up several of them suckers. The next thing I have, speaking of bathroom, um, is some anti-diarrheal pills. So this is, what brand is this? And I don't even know. This is like a Equate brand, something like that. Um, th this is a pack of 200 caplets of the anti-diarrheal pills. And I don't take those very often, but I find myself whenever I'm like going on a long trip or something and I sit there and I think about, okay, do I have to go to the bathroom? Uh, maybe I, Maybe that sensation is the bathroom. Maybe I have to go. Is it going to be an emergency? I'm like making myself upset and like working about working about movement. I'm so sorry. This is way TMI, but I rely on these pretty heavily if I have a stomach ache, especially out in public because I don't like to use public bathrooms at all. Um, so the next thing I have in here is a manicure set and I picked this up from Amazon a good long while ago. This is my go-to like travel set. So whenever you open it up, it's got everything. It's like surgical instruments galore. It's whatever you need. I have like cuticle stuff. I have nose hair trimmers. I have um, fingernail clippers and toenail clippers and pushers and just you name it. It's the Edward Scissorhands of the manicure set. And I love this. I picked this up from Amazon for not very much money. I want to say it was like 20 bucks. And I travel with this every time I go somewhere. Usually I'll put like one of those little like mustache trimmers. Um, because you know, your girl got a mustache. I'm not even afraid to say it. But I'll put one of these in here and it fits like kind of cattywampus. I'll put it on this side or I'll put it on this side and close it up and I'm good to go. But if you travel a lot, this is definitely a travel essential. And just a disclaimer, nothing in this video is sponsored or sent to me or anything. I bought all this stuff with my own money and I'm not being paid to say anything. This is just my own junk, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So the next thing that I have is some toothpaste. So I have the Colgate Enamel Health toothpaste. I probably left this in here from um, a dental cleansing or something that I have because usually I'll keep a um, toothpaste pack, I'll keep a toothbrush, and I'll keep like dental floss and stuff just in case I'm stranded somewhere and I need to brush my teeth because I want to keep, you know, good dental hygiene. Got to have that. So got Colgate in here. And then I also have a toothbrush. This is a Colgate toothbrush and this was given to me by my dentist so it's got her 
name on it right here. And this is actually a really good toothbrush. So I don't know if you can tell, it's like super thin, so you can get way back there. So I have another one of these that I use. But I generally, when it comes to toothbrushes and things, I prefer the ones that vibrate. Not necessarily a Sonicare one, but the ones that vibrate and it just feels like it's knocking all the gunk off. I like those, they're fun. So the next thing I have is like a, it's not, I wouldn't call this an emery board or whatever, but it kind of like polishes the tops of your nails. So you can't use it whenever, of course you have gel nail polish on there, but it has like a little bit of a rougher side and then it's got a little bit of a smoother side. And then this final side is like super like smooth or whatever. It's like squeaky. So, and it really does polish your nails. I picked this up as Sally Beauty Supply a while back and I never use it because it's in ours. <laughs> I just never think about using it. So, the next thing I have in here is some Sharpies and pens. And so I keep Sharpies in here in case I'm mailing things off because I don't like to use pens whenever I'm sending something off. I like it to be a little bit more permanent. So I have a thin one, I have a thick one, and I also have a State Farm pen, um, which you, you always need a pen whenever you carry it around your purse. Oh, and then, okay, this is a big one. And I have a couple of these in here. So y'all know I'm from Louisiana. Um, most of y'all know. If you don't know, I'm from Louisiana. So I was born and raised in the Baton Rouge area. So um, whenever I used to go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, which was very, very often, fun fact, you cannot find a bathroom. There are no public bathrooms in New Orleans whenever you are going for Mardi Gras. Um, McDonald's, good luck. <laughs> the only way that you can get a bathroom is by renting a hotel room. So just a fun fact, if you ever want to go to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, get a bunch of friends, rent a hotel room. You don't even need to use it but they will let you use their bathroom. So um, we always did that with like the Royal Sinesta. The Royal Sinesta is right off Canal Street and most of the parades travel through Canal Street. So you can just like go outside. If you gotta go to the bathroom, you just take it right back in there and you're good to go. But if you can't, if you can't afford it or if you don't have the availability, if you're like ways away from your hotel room, this is why I got these. So this is called a Travel John. And this is amazing for women. So you can use this sitting down. You could use this standing up. Um, we used to have uh, season tickets to the New Orleans Saints games. And it was notoriously packed with traffic on the way there. And it would never fail. I would have to go to the bathroom. So I would pull off on the side of the road and just kind of zip down my pants. This is way TMI. I'm so sorry. But I would go to the bathroom and then whenever we get to the stadium, I just throw it away and absorbs. It doesn't leak. It's so fantastic. So if you are somewhere and you need to go to the bathroom, get you a pack of Travel Johns. They are amazing, especially if you're a woman. Unreal. And if you don't have this and you go to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, you'll understand why everything smells like pee and vomit because there are no public bathrooms. So the next thing I have in my purse of wonder or what I call my Armageddon purse is some medication. So I have a big thing of ibuprofen, not a big thing, but I fill it up on my own. Then I have some Advil tablets. I also, well, Advil and ibuprofen are the same things, but usually I'll put like Benadryl in here because my husband notoriously gets hives just at the weirdest times. So just a little story. Um, we had gone to California one year, I think it was like 2011. And we made a trip to Disneyland and we were walking around Disneyland having a good time. And all of a sudden he just breaks out in hives for no reason. He didn't get hot. It was like, I don't know, February or something. So it was really nice and comfortable. And I had the, um, the Benadryl on me. So I didn't have it in my purse because I think they search your purse or whatever whenever you go into Disneyland. So I had left it in our rental car, but we had to walk all the way back to the car to take Benadryl. And by the time he took it and we were walking back in there, he really didn't feel like going. So we ended up leaving. So Benadryl in here, um, anti-diarrheal medicine. And yeah, that's really, really important. 
So the next thing, oh, here's another travel giant. <laughs> so I keep usually two in there. And then I have a ton of papers. So I have prescriptions. <laughs> I have um, receipts from the UPS store. I have like Walmart receipts, home good receipts. Uh, let's see, more Walmart receipts. I have, I keep a lot of my um, receipts in here for like tax purposes. So if I go to the dentist or whatever, I think that's what this is actually. No, this is a prescription. What is that for? Oh no, this is actually, <laughs> this is something entirely different. Let me put that to the side <laughs> here. I probably shouldn't have that in my purse. So the next thing I have is a massage bar. And I actually thought that this was a bar of soap. So this is a number three massage bar, uh, dermatologist approved from uh, Barney Kennett MD. I don't know where I got this, probably some hotel room somewhere and I just kept it in my purse. But I was thinking there was a bar of soap. It isn't, <laughs> it is a massage bar. Then I have another pen, which is really helpful. I have some allergy, um, Advil allergy and sinus. Um, like whenever um, the spring comes, I am scrounging around for allergy medicine. The, the pollen is just un freaking real around here sometimes. And it's just, sometimes you just gotta have it. You know what I'm saying? So the next thing in here is my Bonine medication. And if y'all are not familiar with Bonine, Bonine is kind of the same thing as Dramamine, but I find that this one is a lot less, um, it doesn't make you as drowsy as long. So this one is really, really good. Every once in a while, whenever I travel, especially whenever I fly, I have to take two of them because I get super duper motion sickness. Um, and I find whenever I have to take two, it makes me just as drowsy as the Dramamine whenever I take one. So I don't know if it's just as, if it's less effective and that's why it doesn't cause drowsiness. I don't know. But this is a necessity in my purse because we travel a lot and you know, that's really important. I don't wanna be barfing all over the place. And then the next thing I have, well, I have some dental floss, so that is where the dental floss is. And then, it, you know, you know I'm a Louisianian because I keep an emergency bottle of Tabasco sauce. So this is, I don't even know where I got this actually. I used to have a whole bunch more, but Tabasco sauce is life. I put Tabasco sauce pretty much on everything. Whenever I was pregnant with Gabby, my oldest, I made Tabasco sauce sandwiches. So it was like lettuce, tomato, cheese, mayonnaise, Tabasco sauce, and that was it. And my girl came out loving hot stuff. So she just loves anything that is hot. So the next thing I have in here is kind of like, I wouldn't call it a survival thing, but it's kind of like a survival thing. It's a magnifying glass. And the reason why I originally got this was because when me and my family go out to eat, particularly my dad, he is notorious for not bringing his glasses. He can't see a menu. He can't see whenever he reads. And so I started bringing him a magnifying glass. This is a super cheap magnifying glass. It's not expensive by any means. But I thought, you know, if he needs it, then I have it available for him so he could see what he wants to get. The second reason why I got this is because if you're stranded, and this is just science, if you're stranded and you need to start a fire in the middle of the day, then you could use a magnifying glass. And I don't know if y'all remember doing that as a kid, but I would sit there and I would try to light things on fire. I would like, you know, try to get the sun to go through it and it would like, um, leaves on fire, branches, just anything. You would just kind of like heat up the concrete, heat up the grass. It didn't even matter. I just wanted to see like the little beam of sunlight heat up something. That was always so cool. If you don't, if y'all haven't never done that, y'all need to try that. It is very, very fun, but don't do it around like woods and stuff. Um, the next thing I have in here, which I really don't know why it's in here, um, and if my parents are watching this, mom, dad, please shut, the, shut it off. <laughs> Just don't watch anymore. Um, but this is vaginal contraceptive film. So I keep this in my purse. I don't know why. I'm not really sure it's in there. I guess if you know, you, you need to go, you need to go. And, um, yeah, I, I keep that in my little like side pocket here. So yeah, that's, I guess it's helpful. I guess I've, I've had to use it. And then, what do I have in here? 
uh, I have one little random earring. Um, I used to wear this in a video and I lost the other one. I think it fell out when I was getting my hair done. And then I also have the C band. So this is uh, like one of those anti nausea bands that you put like on that nerve right here. I don't ever think that this works, but I keep it in here just in case. There was a, a watch my mom had got me several years ago. It flooded whenever we were in Louisiana, uh, so we don't have it anymore. But um, it was, it looked like a watch. It had like a, a battery and everything that went in it and it would sit right here and it would send like electro, electrical pulses to that nerve. It worked amazing. I think it was like $80 or something like that. And I don't know if we lost it in the flood or if we lost it during the move. I don't know, but I don't have it anymore and I need to get another one. So the next thing that I have in here is a couple of hair ties. So I have one right there. Then I have a, um, this is, I think a recital thing that my daughter had and she drew a face on here. So you see that? She drew this really pretty face on here and I just love the way it looks. So I always wanted to keep it in my purse cause it's just so cute. And then I think that's it y'all. Is that it? No, <laughs> let me see. What else do I have? Oh. Okay, I have these little um, moist towelettes. So, you know when you go to like a barbecue restaurant or like a Chinese restaurant, a buffet or something, they have the little towelettes so you can wash your hands at the table. I like to keep those in my purse because you just never know when you need to have nice clean hands for something. And I used to keep um, hand sanitizer in my purse, but when it ran out, I just threw it out and then I just didn't do it anymore. So... I don't know, I kind of had the, th the thought that if I kill all the germs that I'm like coming into contact with, that my immune system would get weaker. So now, I mean, I still wash my hands, of course, especially like before I eat. But if I'm going somewhere, I don't like slather on the hand sanitizer. And I was talking about this with my friend Dustin Hunter here on YouTube. I was talking about uh, that with him yesterday, as a matter of fact. And... I don't know, I find that whenever I stopped using the hand sanitizer, my immune system got better, it got stronger. So I don't know, conspiracy theory, but yeah, that is everything that was in my purse, right? Is that everything? Um, I think I showed y'all everything, yeah. So I hope y'all found this video fun and a good distraction of all the crap that's going on in the world today. They got so much things like, it, it's just, not even fathomable of all the crap that's going on. So I hope this was a really good distraction for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was kind of a filler video and sort of late because my daughter, fun times, if I didn't mention this already before in the video, my daughter lost her car keys yesterday, which is my car keys. And so we had to travel like an hour and a half one way, an hour or so one way to go get a different car key, which is the pods, the, the electric start car key. That was not fun. Then we had to hire a, a locksmith to program it because if not, it was going to be like super duper money. And so the, I was supposed to be filming today, but I ended up, I mean, filming yesterday, but I ended up just filming today. So Anyway, long story short, I'm happy to be doing this video. Look out for the plus size haul that I'm going to be doing next. I think it will be super duper fun. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Once again, I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.